Now to health matters. We shine the spotlight on hepatitis, which is said to be the second killer disease after tuberculosis. The World Health Organization says about 30 million Nigerians are walking on the streets with the virus. The most worrisome is that some don't even know they have the virus. How do you know your status when you have not gone to be tested? This is why a group of medics with Concerned Nigerians have come together to call for a collective effort in the fight against hepatitis in Nigeria. Their wish is for a world without hepatitis come 2030. That is my wish too. Over to Basi Itaikbang for more. Do you know your viral hepatitis status? Yes. What is it? I don't know anything about the hepatitis. I know people have hepatitis and it easily kills. Like the example is my mother. She has the hepatitis. That time we didn't know that she has the hepatitis. And when you get a stage to a stage, she gave up. Because we saw her eyes was very yellowish. We didn't know that it was hepatitis that time. But I know they have, it's a very deadly disease. And it has some stages. But you see, I'm not too vaxxed in talking about But I know I've heard about that hepatitis. It's a very dangerous. OK, do you know your viral status? Uh, not really, not really, not really. No, I, don't. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by viral. Uh, the status you're talking about. Viral hepatitis is an infectious disease that causes liver inflammation and damage. It could be contracted through blood transfusion, some sexual activities, circumcision, contaminated water, and body fluids. The latest World Health Organization report indicates that an estimated 325 million people are living with the virus globally, with a greater percentage of this number from Africa. Over 90 percent of people that are infected with hepatitis are not aware that they have this infection. It has killed many people out of ignorance. For Smart and others who are part of the 30 million Nigerians who do not know their viral status, a group of Nigerians have joined their voices to enlighten the public on the causes of this disease. World without hepatitis come 2030. That is your wish. That How is do correct. We this? Well, we have set up this initiative, which is a global initiative to try and tackle the scourge of hepatitis. And how do we do that? First of all, you need to know whether anybody has got it. And that's why you need the screening program. We're tying our wish to the uh, third MDG, 3.3, uh, target 3.3 specifically, which talks about eradicating hepatitis globally. And um, Nigeria is key into that so that we can contribute our quota into ensuring that hepatitis is actually eradicated by the year 2030. And that's why we're starting with this advocacy, uh, letting people know, creating awareness, then we'll move into screening. Now, after the free medical testing, what next? And when you screen people, even if you are negative, if you are at risk, depending on what profession you are in, you can get the vaccine. There are five main hepatitis known, which experts say remain a major concern due to the burden of the illness. Uh, recently, they just discovered um, E and um, F and G, but it's not very popular yet. Now, the problem is that the bulk of the viruses will cause different forms of hepatitis. Uh, so the most prevalent one in, this, uh, in all over the world, really, is B and C. So B is a DNA virus, unfortunately. It does not have a cure, but it can be managed the way HIV AIDS is being managed. Mm. But fortunately, it has a vaccine, so you can actually prevent yourself, but it doesn't have a cure. But it has a treatment, which is actually to manage the ailment. Now, C, on the other hand, does not have a vaccine, but it has a cure. So somebody that has C can be totally cured it can be treated from point A to Z and then be fully cured and totally rid of the, the virus. While encouraging Nigerians to know their viral hepatitis status, experts say hepatitis is preventable, treatable, and in case of hepatitis C, curable. Thanks, Bassi, for educating us on the importance of taking precautions and getting screened. Medics say it will take a collective effort for a hepatitis-free world come 2030.